and there's good stuff. Mm -hmm. it, the, the bad stuff has no place to hide. It has to go away. But your 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 thoughts generate your feelings. If so, your new outcomes, right? Yeah. Those are kind of let's say you have some good experiences. Isn't that then become part of your backstory? Your new backstory? It can. Mm -hmm. Or are they just learnings? Yeah, I don't for know. I'm, I'm asking. Yeah, I'm not. I'm yeah, not sure I, if I know that one. Yeah. Uh, and and I don't know if I mean look, I, I'm I, I'm not a psychologist either. I'm not God, right? But it, it's. If I if I give up my bullshit stories, right, mm -hmm. and I start to to get the nastiness and get all the the, the fog out, mm -hmm. it, it's really about what have I learned up to this point. It's not positive or negative. It's, it's just, just what have I learned, and that's is. and that's going to generate positive or negative action. So it's if I make sense, a man search for meaning, mm -hmm. Viktor Frankl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. sure. Suffering goes away when the suffering, when you assign meaning to suffering, and suffering mm -hmm. has meaning. So if, if, I, if I can take all my negative experiences, find meaning, change my belief system, my belief system allows me to think in a different way, ridding myself of a negative belief system allows me to think in a different way, which changes my feelings, then really it's it's going to change my actions. Mm -hmm. Orient action. But I'm using all the, the lessons that I've learned, getting rid of the ones that don't serve, continuing the ones that do serve, and that's going to change my action or inaction. Mm -hmm. But I still think that if you allow negative experiences, it's going to cause that hesitation, that hiccup, right? Mm -hmm. Because I used to be a master procrastinator. And, and that's because, us, yeah. but I didn't have if courage. courage. You don't go, you don't lean toward it, right? I didn't have courage. I'm a former Marine, and I had no courage. And and what do you think that did for my self esteem? There's the shoulds going on in the world, right? So you're saying you're a, mar a Marine without courage? I'm saying, me standing here a year and a half ago mm -hmm. had zero courage. Oh, okay, okay. That's what I'm saying. So wh when we talked about self esteem, right? And you've got these shoulds going on, mm -hmm. and I'm a Marine with mm -hmm. no courage, mm -hmm. and I'm scared of everything. I'm scared of that cold shower, right? Mm -hmm. What did that? What do you think that does for my self esteem? Mm, it's gonna make oh, it's going to tank. It's going to make it worse. Yeah. So, so purposeful, intentional action towards towards the the way you were designed mm -hmm. is going to increase your self esteem. Understanding all of this. Is going to generate action or inaction to generate an outcome. So where does this come in? Because this is, and again, I'm not. It's this thing. Okay, so the if I'm coming from a very red yellow place, where did that come from? In here, somewhere from my past experience and beliefs, That's or is that in a? It's design. It, it comes. I have it when I'm it's coming not, out. It's okay. design. Yeah. Right. But uh, now, but do you tend to? This is this is interesting. If I come out design that way, do I then tend to? go to those type of things. Do, do I, if that's my design, do I then enforce that and lead towards it and, and become more of it? Because what you put off is what you get, right? You get more of what you put off. So if I'm constantly like this. You get like more this, of what you put off. Yeah. Uh, help me understand. Well, that's that. kind of like, so. So is it something like we say is If you're is putting off good energy, you're going to get more good energy from other people. What you put off, whatever, is you get more of. If you're negative and shit like that, you're gonna get more negativity in your life. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, okay, I, I, I didn't get, say it, right. Like no, attracts no, no, like, huh? You said like attracts like. It, Not necessarily. Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah, it doesn't or, matter or, if it's good or bad. Or are you saying like there's another thing that we say? What you saying, what you resist persists. Persists. Mm -hmm. right. What you embrace dissipates. What yeah. you focus on grows. What you focus on grows. Bring the you darkness focus, into whatever it is, good what or bad. You focus on grows, and I think that's what you were talking. about. What yeah. you focus on grows. So it's the same thing, just said a little different. Yeah, it's, uh -huh. it's all. Okay. We're not. Yeah. So, but the easiest one for me is like when you bring darkness into light, it dissipates. Yeah. Light is just an absence of darkness. That's it. Right. Yeah. So I'm getting up this morning. I see the, the sun coming up, and this is like, it was dark a little while ago, but I wasn't gonna make it light till it was gonna get light, right? So it's it, the light is absence of darkness. So it's like. If, if you're if you're happy, whatever that means, that's just an absence of anger or fear, whatever. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I, I, this is an interesting term too, happy. Yeah. You know, you can get all over that. It's so, so some of this is design, and some of it's experience. And here's why I say that: the first disc assessment I ever had was in 2006. Mm -hmm. 
2005, 2006. Mm -hmm. I was I wasn't a manager yet. Mm -hmm. I was just a team player, mm -hmm. a teammate, and I was a high eye. And as I still, so what's high eye for you? This, uh, this is over here. I, I don't know this. This is he's right. like me. So, so, so this is hi. D I S C. Oh. So yeah, here. and that's you. I can so, yeah. so I I was just I, I'm a people person. As many people as possible. Get them all in a room. Let's win together, right? Totally, get it, yeah. as, totally yellow. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you gotta change this whole thing and this color. Just I know. So no, well, it's, fortunately, I'm a I'm a yellow. <laughs> either. So yeah. As I ascended the ranks into executive roles, as I got more assessments, it started to swing until I was somewhere right in there, right? So I still had a lot of eye in me, but again, the results mattered, right? And how, how to attain the outcome mattered. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it started swinging, where at one point, it was like, boom, it was just pegged. So here's, here's what we talk about, and you can, so when you say it swung, mm -hmm. consciously, you, you were consciously doing that. The, that's what the assessment showed. That's where my brain housing group was at that point. Mm -hmm. So this is, and it's a bad thing, but so you have the subconscious persona and then you get this outward persona. You put off, I don't know, let's just say this is your yellow energy. You put that off to me right now, right? But let's just say, you're probably not, let's just say your yellow energy at home, laying on a couch, being yourself wasn't this. This preference flow, you know that this is expected of you in your job. This is what you put up, this is what you want people to see, but really, you may be mm. more of this. That takes energy, right? So you're yeah. consciously doing that, but subconsciously, yeah, you may not be that way. Mm -hmm. So that's where somebody can go from here to here, and that's why your thing moves. But this this looks at your conscious. We look at your subconscious because the questions you ask will, will give it different, different weight. And a lot of people can overlay, it, and it, that's perfect. It, then you are who you are. It, so this resonates with me at a very very high level. Because I'm I, to, yeah, it's cool stuff. No, I'm, I'm not talking about. The, the, I'm talking about the way you presented it. So I've got this this guy that I coach, and and he's got cancer, mm -hmm. right? So it just came back, and he's he's one of the guys that the Marine in me came out and said, "Look, drop your bullshit story, right?" He's like, "I'm angry, my father, blah, yada 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 yada," and he layered all these, and I dealt with that for probably around two months. Mm -hmm. Until he said it again, you know, hey, why are you so angry? Because my dad, blah, blah, blah. I was like, yeah. I'm, I'm done, right? They're, they're, they're bullshit stories. I, I know you got cancer. I respect that. I, you know, He's identified. I, I love you. you. But he wants to serve people. He can't serve them with all this anger, mm -hmm. right? So I said, I, I'm telling you right now, drop your bullshit story. So what does that mean? When I did another assessment for Arch Snarzik, he has two pieces. One is who you are, mm -hmm. and one is how you're designed. So... It's your true, authentic self and who you are right this second. Yeah. Oh, so, so this is interesting. So right now, you're operating pretty consciously, I would guess. Yeah. yeah. Although there may be some subconscious stuff. But you're, you're pretty aware. And the whole idea of mindfulness is to become very conscious, mm -hmm. right? Total consciousness. Bring everything into consciousness. Right. Yep. So are you mm -hmm. saying that the total consciousness, and what was the term you used? Your authentic self? Yeah, so... And who I am right this second. So here's the thing. So the, the person you are right this second, should, I mean, if you're in harmony, these should be pretty much the same. Right? That's when you're going to reach congruency, and that's when you're right. going... That's when you're going to... I don't care if you have a high... I don't care if it you doesn't have, make a difference. I don't care if you have a high S and a high D. If no. you're both authentic, you're both going to... You're going to grab...